muffins i'm going to make today a sheet kebab which is puni sheet kebab and um, first of all i have chopped the pinis here in the big chunks and uh, sometimes when we have a paneer shake kebab we see that the inside there is not enough salt so what i have done i have sprinkled a little bit of chili and a salt on the one side and same i'm going to do it on the other side just sprinkle the salt and little bit of chili and leave it for 10 15 minutes turning them in the marinade of chili and salt not too much but if all of them are covered is good and here we go and i'll keep this for 10 15 minutes marinated so it absorbs the chili and the salt in it and here i have chopped the veggies it's capsicum and uh, onion onion i have cut it into big chunks and separated them same i have done with the capsicum you can take any color capsicum you want and uh, let them marinate and then we will start the next step now this is marinated in the salt and chili nicely i have coated it and turned it around so every side you can see that it has been coated and now we and this i had soaked it in the water because they burn very easily so that's why you should soak them into 10 15 minutes in the water now we are going to start with the yogurt i've got a greek yogurt you can take a hung yogurt if you don't have greek so two tablespoon of yogurt and we are going to add a garlic and chili paste uh, sorry garlic and ginger paste into it which is two tablespoon together some cumin powder one teaspoon i'm going to add a red chili powder one tablespoon one teaspoon and salt according to your taste so because the paneer has got uh, salt in it so we are only adding according to the veggies and yogurt so just one teaspoon some black pepper for that kick so i'm not going to add too much half a teaspoon Mix it now the yogurt marination is ready. We are going to add the paneer in it to marinate. So just add all the paneers. give a good mix so it covers with the yogurt and now we are going to add this capsicum in the same capsicum and onion mix nicely and the last thing i'm going to add in here i've got this powdered coriander and mint so i'm adding that for the flavor this is the powder i make this powder myself in coriander and mint so i'm adding for the flavor this one and now this is mixed nicely Let's cover and leave it in the fridge for 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Then we will cook it. It's been 15 minutes. Now we'll start 
to make the kebab. We need sheep kebabs. So first we'll put this capsicum. Then the paneer or as you like. There is nothing like it has to be, has to be in cereal. So whichever way you like, you can do it. In this, you can add even basin. So basin flour keeps all the spices together and they don't come out. But I have not added today. But if you want, you can add the little bit of basin too. And now this is ready and we'll keep it on the grilling pan. And we'll do it for the other one. One I'm making like this, one I'll make it now with the basin. I'll add a little bit of basin into it. Roasted basin, I have basin flour, chickpea flour which is known as. And I'll add some so we can have two varieties and we can see and I can show you what is the difference between those two. Second one, I'm adding this basin. I have roasted it, dry roasted, and say two tablespoons. Mix it. So I'm going to make two styles, so you can see there is no difference. But if you like the flavor, and because of the basin, it will catch more. Other than that, there is nothing else it does. So here. It's been added the basin to it. And now our first one is ready. We will take them off. And I've got my serving plate here. serving with the little bit of green chutney and this is a yogurt with only salt and I'm going to add on the top chili flakes and that's it this will be the one version of the kebab and then we will do the second one ready with uh, without uh, basin and with basin both types so to each so please like and comment and like my video press the bell icon so you get notification when i put the new videos thank you for watching